So welcome to this video on air tapping. Um, I've tried this for a few weeks now. I've tried it on quite a few acoustic guitars and I found that this particular one, which is a, a Takamini Electro Classical, which I've had for about, I don't know, about 25 years, it's uh, about the best one. Obviously, the, one of the problems with uh, tapping on a, a normal guitar is that you get overtones. You play the note and there's another note there. Well, you do get that a fair bit with this guitar, but not as badly as uh, you do with the other guitars that I've tried. So this is the one I've picked and I've been working on some little uh, two bar patterns. I've tuned the guitar to the key of D major. So the low E has been dropped down to D. The A and the D remain the same as they would be for normal tuning. The G has come down a semitone to F sharp. Okay, the B has come down a tone to A and the top E has come down a tone to D. So you've basically got three D strings, that's six, four and one. Uh, you've got two A strings, five and two, and you've got the, uh, the F sharp, which is the third string. So you've basically got the three components of the major chord, the first, the third and the fifth, first being the D, third being the F sharp, and the fifth being the A. And, uh, and that means that the guitar rings really nicely. Now, I've been looking at lots of videos of people playing Chapman sticks. If you don't know what that is, it's, a, it's the kind of tapping guitar. But of course, with those things, they have, across the first fret, they have a, a piece of webbing which kind of uh, mutes everything. So in fact, that you don't have any open strings. So they're, obviously, they are brilliant guitars, brilliant instruments. There's a few kind of clones of them about. But you don't get any kind of nice open string ringing, and that's what I really like about the guitar. So, um, so this is my first little pattern that I've been uh, working on, and uh, see what you think of this. Two, three, four. Now there, I'm doing two strings. Okay, with the index finger and middle finger of both hands. Get a nice little rhythm there. One and two and three. And then I, you almost use the two index fingers like drumsticks. There's a fifth fret and a seventh fret and a pull off. And on the twelfth fret to get the harmonics. And then on the fifth and the seventh also harmonics with the two index fingers. And then hammer up. That's my first pattern. Mm, rather nice, isn't it? Um, so that's the first little pattern. And then um, I came up with a, another pattern. Three, four. Now here, hammering on, pulling off and sliding down, slowing down. string there and then double hammer up and there a nice little two part harmony on the two strings there third pattern I came up with was just tapping top three strings with the back of my index finger to get the harmonics. Once I've got that going, I'm then doing some little chords on the A and the D strings. So it's almost like playing piano, so little two string uh, chords there on the A and the D strings. Here's my next pattern. Now here, uh, I've got a little bit of time at the end of the pattern, so I could do a little bit of drumming.
same. As I say, one of the things I don't like about the Chapman stick is that it's it's a bit sort of dry. It seems I've not got one, so I'm, I'm not not qualified to say really. But they do seem quite sort of dry and a bit a little bit soulless. Forgive me for saying that. This it rings and it's nice and open. That's what I like about it. I mean, you're not free of overtones, but it's, it doesn't seem too bad on this particular type of guitar. So that's my fourth pattern, and then do a nice little drumming with the thumb and the fingers on the guitar body. Now, because you've got um, you've got uh, three D strings, two A's. You can get some nice octave effects, and what I'm doing here is I'm using my left hand index finger on the A string, middle finger on the uh, what is now another A string, second string, and then I'm going to use the same two fingers of the other hand uh, up further up on the guitar. those fingers down like that. It looks pretty weird, doesn't it? But it's quite a good effect. And on the end, they're just pulling off. As I say, these are all two bar phrases that fit really, really nicely together. So that's playing in octaves with the, the, the sort of pronged effect of the two fingers. That sounds pretty good. Here's the next pattern. Some D string, go the E tune down a tone. I'm just playing some little chords on the, the F sharp and the D string. And then uh, adding my fingers on, onto the B string now, or A string if you want to call it that, fourth fret, and just playing the, uh, the 12th fret harmonic. So notice I've got my index finger, my right hand, over the, the fret, which is the 16th fret. 12 above 4, obviously, and then just pluck the string. Let me see that. Uh, there we go. Let's empty that like that. And get the harmonic, hopefully. It rings. Again, another two bar pattern that works really well. Here's probably the most exciting of the patterns. <laughs> A hammer on and pull off to open. It's running down the low D. Then same idea but coming across the guitar. Patterns that I'm, I'm going to try and glue together uh, in a kind of a performance, and um, that gives you a little bit of an idea what you can do with this style of playing. So it's, it's called air tapping. This is uh, just a straightforward uh, acoustic guitar. Right? It is electric, but I mean, you know, you don't have to have it plugged in. I've got it plugged in, so I'm getting a little bit of power out of it, a little bit of reverb. Um, but you know, it's it's quite a, a, a good way into this. You know, Chapman sticks, things like that, are very, very expensive, several thousand pounds, I think. And so, you know, if you fancy having a go at this and you don't want to uh, to spend tons of money, you might like to try this. Um, so that is uh, end of this video. Hopefully I'll do another one where I get these patterns looping. <laughs>